What's up with it, everybody? Welcome to Melee It On Me, episode 12. You're joined today by Sheridan, Doctor, a.k.a. Dr. Z, Prague. Uh, I'm just a regular dude. No, man, you're Dr. Z now. You're just never going to leave you. Prague, the homie, who has retired maybe uh, three months ago, but is, is here again today. And Mango, unfortunately, Cactuar couldn't make it today. And huge shout-outs to my man, Bobak, a.k.a. the runner of R.I.P. Genesis 3, for creating this sweet overlay to the right. Next time we might even have an intro video. Oh. <laughs> Sheridan, what's good. up, dude? How have you Take been? Back for to those early days. Would you say prog? Yeah, we gotta go back to the early days. I think I mentioned I've considered running the uh, the old video like a hundred times. <laughs> Sheridan, what's up, dude? How have you been for the past two weeks? Uh, pretty good. I just went on a trip to uh, San Diego with a special friend of mine, and that was super fun. A special friend. Special yeah. friend. Yeah. Special friend. <laughs> special friend. Uh oh. <laughs> I continue. Uh, and that was fun. And just been working on this paper, and working on moving back to uh, to Novato for just a little bit before I try to find a job. So, what is the ETA? What What is the estimated time of Sheridan staying in NorCal? I want I want to know. I want to hear it right now, and I want an update every two weeks. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just looking, man, you know, it could be, could be six weeks, could be 12 weeks. Well, just depends on what I find. What is the average rate of getting a job for someone in your position? Uh, I don't know. Like immediately, probably. All right. I mean, uh, pretty good. And so what is the deal with this paper? For everybody who doesn't know, uh, me, myself, Sheridan... Uh, Gishnak, Tavakins, and Pocky D were all oh, good buddies. Yeah. And we like to play board games every once in a while. And Sheridan had this paper land on his desk like two hours ago. No, I, I, I'm I, doing... I, I just have to present tomorrow on it. It's not a big deal, but I just have to make sure I have it all straight. And, you know, it's at 9 a.m., so... Yeah. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. You yeah. can't make board game night. I just I just don't want to chance it, bro. I can respect that. Prague, how's it going, dude? It's been uh, two weeks well, since you've been on the show, is... just like every other show. No, I'm like pretty consistent. Yeah, you are. Uh, things are pretty good, pretty good. Um, we've got a big shoot tomorrow, uh, doing a live broadcast out of New Jersey, talking about the effects of Hurricane Sandy. And how we responded, and how we respond in the future. Then uh, um, later on, I think actually next week, if you're familiar with Emily Sende, uh, she has a pretty good hit single that's out right now. Uh, British pop star. She, she, we're shooting her next week, and then nothing too interesting. So uh, that's pretty much it on my end in terms of real life stuff, but I guess we'll talk to some Smash stuff that I'm working on later on in the show. Absolutely. Hang on, how are you? Will. How am I? Dude, I'm, do I'm doing great. I've actually had a crazy two weeks. Sophie just got a, she got a sick, nasty job at Google, which means that I'm not leaving NorCal. Woo! Woo! We were, we were worried for a minute there that I had to move to Chicago. Good stuff. Congrats. Like, Dude, I, I had a dream. Amazing. I had a dream that you guys... I got a job in Chicago, and then so did you, and then you guys also moved to Chicago. You couldn't run away, dude. You couldn't <laughs> run away from me. That's a pretty, that's a pretty amazing dream. Yeah. I wish that I could participate. Yeah, I mean, I was worried that I was just going to be, uh, you know, sitting in my room in Chicago, like just me and a dog, and like I had to quit my job, and just kind of like sitting there, like, oh. I would probably just work on Melee. That was my plan. But anyway, yeah, I'm staying here, so sick nasty. Um... And other than that, yeah, man, it's a business as usual. I bought a bike. I started biking. I'm actually super duper weak, so that sucks, but I'm working <laughs> on it. I know that feeling, man. Yeah. Mango, how you doing, man? How were your last few weeks? Doing pretty good. Uh, me and my girlfriend found out, like, two days ago we're having a baby boy in, uh, Woo! in uh, October. So that's we pretty exciting. Hey, what? But you don't know. You don't know the new Sheridan. You're catching up. You're not a Facebook user. No. I'm having a child of my own, baby Mango, and no. I'm gonna raise it to hate Hungry Bugs. So it's gonna be great. <laughs> We're gonna get along. 
This is I. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. I don't, pretty I'm big not news, believing this. Which we don't have to discuss at length at this moment on account of the fact that we only have 90 minutes and we can talk about <laughs> talk about what what baby mango would look like for maybe like a year without it being boring. So yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to being a dad because I don't do anything else. So uh, that's gonna be fun. And then uh, yeah, pretty excited. And then what about uh, last weekend? Oh, the tournament. Or what are you talking about? Do you, do you see my? Are you looking at Skype? Do you actually see like my facial expressions? No. I'm nodding. I'm saying yeah. Tournament. Oh okay. Um. Oh, uh, it was fun. I finally got I got my revenge on Mute King, so that was good. Yeah. How were those? How are those sets, dude? Um, they're good. I destroyed them in winners. It was a three-one, and then. In grand, he took a set off me three two, and then I kind of destroyed him the last set three one. If you guys haven't seen them, I suggest you watch them. They're pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I we both that, played pretty good. Yeah, I didn't watch the winner set, but I watched the grand final set. Uh, we can link to the. Uh, you could watch them on the Twitch archives, Twitch TV slash Epic GP two, and uh, I'll put that in the chat for you guys. I I haven't seen it yet, but I saw the thread on the uh, Facebook group and I guess there was some controversy on the stream or like the commentators yeah what was that all about so did anybody get to watch the stream Prague Sheridan Mango obviously you didn't because you were there I was asleep all right so uh, yeah I, I watched it a good bit uh, you know I, I thought that so it I got the sense that at certain points uh, there were non smashers on stream so you know it's, I feel like as difficult as it is to commentate uh, Melee effectively as a Smasher, I feel like mm -hmm. a non-Smasher, they just have no idea what's going on, and it's just like, oh, yeah, you know, they're kind of just hitting each other, they're doing pretty good. And it, well, yeah, and then you, at the risk of any of those guys watching, you know, I appreciate your valiant effort, but yeah, my my fiance Sylvia was in the other room, and I was actually watching it on the TV. Okay, so that's other news. I bought, like, a new laptop, which I'm going to stream uh, Melee from. I'm pretty excited about that. But now I have an HDMI out, so I watch Twitch all the time for my TV. And, uh, you know, I was, like, watching Melee. It was, like, all right, sick. And, you know, these commentators are just kind of, like, there's just this one guy. He, like, he just really didn't know what was going on. And I was just kind of, like, all right, whatever. But from the other room, I heard Sophie, like, this is the worst commentary I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, it was, it was bad enough that Sophie knew that it was, it was pretty tough. Um, and then, you know, throughout the day, like, people switched off, you know, Stab got on, Sun got on, Crimson Blur, Crimson, Crimson Buster got on. So, you know, it had, it had its ups and downs. And then, Mango, I heard there was a, some, an interview with you after the tournament was over? Um, after I won? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Crimson, uh, interviewed me after. Oh, oh. alright, well, how was that? Well, that was a good interview. Just Where another day in the office. Just another day? <laughs> yeah. You said. Yep. Yeah, so that's uh, that's a pretty good. Uh, we'll talk. We'll talk a little bit more about vindication. It's the name of the tournament last weekend. Uh, in just a minute, but uh, I think we have a pretty great show tonight. The first first thing we're gonna talk about is uh, updates from our like production SWAT team. If you guys didn't know, we have like a Facebook group and a bunch of guys who are really committing a lot of time to ramping up Melee's production. Uh, and that includes a, t a lot of stuff that Prog can talk about more educatedly than I can. Uh, so we're gonna get, we're gonna give the mic over to Prague and he's gonna talk about that. Um, Thank you for the uh, phenomenal introduction. Yeah, absolutely. And if you guys want to access this Google Doc, I think that there's already a tiny URL. I'll actually play around with that, but if not, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the chat and I'll throw it up on the stream. But Prague, catch us up, dude. Well, of course, you know, to set up the segue um, earlier on Twitter. I had a post that a couple of people appreciated where I said that, you know, players have to be more than just players. And um, that being said, I want to give a shout out to a large collection of players who have now turned into players slash editors, script writers, recorders, pretty much everything under the sun for this uh, volunteer project. For those of you that aren't aware, um, the University of Smash Collective basically is going to be a collective of maybe four or five different subgroups. Um, the one that, of course, is going to be leading the trail, shouts trail in here, 
is uh, the Melee Group, of course. So um, we have a YouTube channel, which everything can be found on my Twitter as well. Um, I'll make a Facebook group eventually. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, what you guys want to hear about is what is actually being done. So first up, a lot of people are like, yeah, you know, the how to play video is out of date. And there was no argument there, so actually we are updating it and splitting it two halves. The first one is the how to play video, uh, which features basically all the advanced techniques. So this one will be you know, bridging the gap for people that aren't too familiar trying to get better. Um, that one is actually being scripted by Strongbad. Uh, the second one is how to apply, uh, which is more of a mental focus style thing with Bob, which is the main draft is being written by uh, Armada with Kirby Kaze, Lucian, and I'm going to spread it around some other big wigs in the community just to uh, add things on. So it'll be like a nice, uh, a pretty nice, you know, compendium of knowledge for uh, people who've done better than most. Um, we have the Twitch.tv uh, things going on, so the shorter how to play video which my man Toph, uh, Scar's co-commentator, one of the homies, the scripting, I think they are editing that or recording that, so it will be edited soon. Uh, Matt Dodzab, Cuba's Death, and Ripple are working on other projects to go on Twitch streams. Uh, Bobak and Dark Dragoon are working on logos and stuff, so yeah. Dark um, Dragoon, man, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Yeah, we're going, we're going way back. Um, but yeah, um, the, the goal for the project was for something to be done by June. Um, but of course, you know, finals, graduations, and all that stuff have kind of pushed things back. Um, I'm, st I'm still hoping for mid-June so we can submit it to uh, Mr. Wizard, Spooky, whoever will be behind the scenes in the production unit at EVO, so we can uh, show off what we've got. But um, no promises, uh, hopefully. But, you know, we're all volunteers, and, uh, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, for sure, dude. Hey, it so is what it is. So speaking of that, is there any, uh, any kind of bump that you want to give for, like, anybody who might be interesting, uh, interested? Anybody who's interesting. If you're interesting, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you're already in this chat. But um, for anyone who's this, interested in helping chat, out, right? yeah, in uh, Melee It On Me, yeah. you know, the premier podcast of the Smash community. There are many pretenders, but no contenders. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but um, if you're interested in helping out, you can always contact me on Smashboards, Twitter, um, University of Smash on Twitter, or you Smash on Twitter. Um, there's a Melee production thread on Smash boards. I'm, I'm not hard to track down. Yeah, that's actually Just really like, true. you uh, can just do smoke signals and stuff, and I'll be able to transcribe them from Navajo to Old English, and we get it going. So, uh, yeah. Let yeah. me know, guys, because we can use all the help we can get. Are you looking for anything in particular, or...? Um... Five teenagers with attitude. Uh, not really. Um, I don't know. You know, we we're kind of toward the end. We can use a couple more recorders in Dolphin to work with uh, Char to a Crisp and Internet Explorer to kind of take some of that stuff up there, uh, up their plate. We can use a couple more uh, video editors. All you musicians out there, um, I want to give a big shout out actually before I forget to uh, Bose, who I think is Norwegian who remixed the uh, intro song to the old DBR videos, as well as Broken Silence, and then uh, Frank Howell, I can't remember his tag, who was also submitting music, but we can use more music as well. So um, if you go actually to, I can't remember his SoundCloud, I'll post it in one of the threads or on uh, Twitter later on, if you guys want to hear what's already in, almost done, uh, know, know what to expect. Definitely go ahead and uh, let me know. Wait, so did, did I catch that there are, like, samples that I could check out, or I have to, like, wait? Oh, I mean, yeah. I actually posted a couple on uh, the U.S. Smash Twitter a while back, so uh, right, definitely check that out. We're pretty dope. U of Smash. 
Yep. Let's get that linked. And actually, I'll link it in chat as well. Um, Is there anything that we should that watch now? Know. I'm. A, I would actually really like to watch something. Unfortunately, uh, just because since we're still in the we're still in the production phase, not even post production, so uh, there are no samples um, that I'm aware of, unless you know Tilt is holding out on me or Matt has something. I don't but uh, yeah. You know, I I would love to have a sample to you know premiere something on Melee on me. Yeah. But unfortunately, soon. at this time, I don't. Well, hopefully soon. That's so. That's a goal. All right, stick with it. Well, thank you for that update, Prog. And if anybody else wants to like jump on at any point, I'm happy to bump any of their work, like MDZ, Tov, yeah, anybody else. So anyway, yeah, the next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, was some tournaments. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was Vindication, which we already talked a little bit about. Um, we didn't talk about teams at all, but the, one of the big things that, I don't know, maybe maybe this is just my fault, but uh, Prog and, uh, and Sheridan, let me know if you disagree. So I did notice that, like, Champ posted all over Facebook about this tournament. For whatever reason, I, like, wasn't ready for it when it came around, and I didn't know that it was going to be as big as it was. How many entries were there, anyway? Mango, do you know? For uh, Vindication? Yeah. I think it was like 60 or something. Alright, so uh, but is that a lot for a SoCal uh, tournament? It was like basically a local with a pop bonus, so I, I think that's pretty good. So what's the what's the deal with uh, that pop bonus? How did that happen? I have no idea, but I'll take it. <laughs> Put it in the bank. <laughs> Any any insight as to why uh, Melee got 500 and Brawl got 250? Because Brawl sucks. That's insight. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no insight. That's, that's <laughs> Melee's going to Evo and Brawl's not. They got. Oh, you like, know what? That might that might have been the main reason. Yeah, probably. I wonder if there is uh, results anywhere around here. Salt Mango one. Yeah. Thanks. I was looking for entrance. Luckily, we have the Smash Wars RSVP feature, which has three confirmed <laughs> Fly, Sung, and the Crimson Blur. <laughs> Glad that nice. they showed up. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I mean, Sheridan, were you? did you like know when it was coming? Were you like ready for it? Yeah. I wasn't planning on watching it, because I was out that weekend, but yeah, I knew that it was happening. With your with lady, special friend with that you went to with. Yeah. <laughs> wink, wink. How about how about you, Frog? I mean, I guess you know you aren't super keeping up with uh, what tournaments are coming up, are you? Um, what? <laughs> Sorry, I just completely zoned out. No, it's fine. We're just talking about Champs tournament. I, uh, I did see a couple of the posts on Facebook, but um, I guess I kind of uh, kind of. You know, lost track of a lot of events are going on. Yeah, just I think working it, on stuff behind the scene. And so. Yeah, I think that was it for me too. I just kind of like lost track. Oh well. But uh, Mango, so were there people from other FG other communities there? I mean, obviously there were. Yeah. There were, right? There was Marvel, Injustice, King of Fighters. Uh, I think that's all I remember. Yeah. Street Fighter. Probably A as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Street Fighter. Street Fighter X Tekken. Mortal I don't count Mortal Kombat. Kombat yeah. And uh, so was there was that similar to your experience in NCR or different or what? Uh, I mean, NCR, we just had our own room. With uh, this tournament, we were like back to back. Like We had melee setups, and then like if you turned around, you had the Marvel setups. That's pretty sweet. Was, so it, was, was that sweet? Yep. That's pretty cool. You just look over, see a Marvel combo, and then, you know, look away. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody do the same for melee? Turn around, look at a look at a melee combo, and go I, think back I, I think I saw a few people look interested, but uh, they want to be cool and pretend like they don't like it. Did but you, I thought, I, did I you actually like, get that sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They look because it looks so cool. It's like what's going on, but then they like don't want to like it. I saw it in their eyes. <laughs> you, yeah, you saw it. They, they were like. Saw in their eyes. They had the the melee love, but they didn't want to admit it. Okay. All right. And did you guys have a projector? I know we were on the secondary stream. We were on the projector, but we didn't get winners finals or grand finals on it, or loser. We didn't get anything on it. We had it, and then we got punked, I guess. Did you do like some friendlies? Huh? Did you just do like friendlies on the projector? Pretty much. 
That's <laughs> that sounds like a missed opportunity. All right, but it was a, it was a good time. It was cool to definitely a good time. Yeah. All right, stick with it. Any anything else you want to share about it? I mean, all I know is uh, I watched the stream a little bit, and I have uh, I gave my feedback on the you know commentary. I think interest, uh, so. overall it's pretty fun. I think having a bar at a tournament is like the greatest thing in the world. Did they have like the TVs like Kings of Cali did or no? Oh, actually the setup was pretty. So the way the setup was, it's like the gaming and stuff was downstairs along with the stream, and then if you go upstairs, the bar was there. And then they had a projector, like, bigger than the Genesis projector. And from the bar, you just you could stare at the giant projector. It was pretty cool. That's actually amazing. It was, you would have liked it a lot. I would I would have loved it. Were there shock tops there? I saw you with like the exact same beer. Of course. Of oh course. They actually sold out of shock tops as soon as I walked up and wanted to get one for the kid. Yeah. Not there. This actually looks amazing. Oh, my God. I just had food, uh brought in front of me like a snack it actually looks amazing yeah it is kind of dinner all right stick with it yeah pretty pretty fun tournament overall I'm pretty sure everyone liked it yeah I wish that I had known not that I would have necessarily gone but uh, I don't know maybe I would have gone do you think Nor NorCal should have gone wait but we had a tournament that weekend too didn't we yeah cuz Zach told me he won that weekend Zach won Sheridan did you go which one I don't know the one this past weekend no. I was in San Diego, stupid. <laughs> lady friend, dude. Oh, man. Come on. Man, I should have had that. Oh, I, no. You don't care, because, I mean, it's like the third time, and you just, like, didn't absorb the information. I do care. I'm just, you know, I'm in the... <laughs> no, dude, you didn't absorb the information. That's an indication that you're just like, okay, yeah, whatever, next item of business. That's great, yeah, that's great. So anyway, yeah, next item good. of business, yeah. uh, what's all this tournament? <laughs> yeah, so Vindication, sounds like it was dope. Uh, I highly recommend checking out the stream. Mango, what about teams? Me and Johnny are like the worst team. We just can't. <laughs> we just don't work together. Like I don't know. It's just like that couple that you know shouldn't be together. They just fight all the time and they rarely smile. And it's just bad times. That was me and Johnny, dude. We just we just don't. And we're like good friends and everything. We just can't team. I don't know why. Yeah. Can you like even fathom a reason? We just you know the star. The way we both like we hit each other so much. It's just, it's just class, you know. That's you what like, I felt like it was is like I could just see you guys like both seeing something, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and just yeah, going exactly. in on it and just yeah. It was uh, very unfortunate for both of us. We're just not a good team. I think that was the last time you'll see Mango Johnny ever again. You actually sent me an aim message from Johnny saying like, "Let's never ever team ever." Again. Yeah, we're a horrible team. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, we're a horrible team. Let's never ever team. It That's all so, he said. So funny to read. So yeah, we're, we're never teaming. <laughs> that. Well, I respect that. You know, a lot of people stay in bad relationships, but I think you guys are... You guys right gotta right. get out of your bad relationship. Yeah. You just gotta move on. Alright, dude. And who ended up winning uh, teams at Vindication? He's King and the Dweeb Fiction one. <laughs> team, <laughs> team, team Dweebus, as I like to call them. Oh, man. <laughs> what is his first name? Sh uh, Shepherd? Shepherd Lima. Dude, yeah. Shepherd Money Match, bro. <laughs> I remember he was like he was talking, talking pretty. Uh, he was saying some pretty strong words to me in the past. Just thought he could take me in a money match. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I'm saying it here. All right, and then uh, Mango's West Ball's turning on your radar or what? Is that this weekend? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, eh. I, well, I might not go because I'm. Once I go to Zenith, I'm gonna be traveling for a while, so I might just take that weekend off and do Mango stuff. Oh, I do like um, raping Wes. So uh, <laughs> there's just some people I get a lot of joy from beating, and Wes is one of them. Just because he thinks he's so good, and then you just show him. I so can things, totally see that. It brings me so much, so much joy. Does it, do you think that he thinks that he can? He can? Is he on that level yet? I, if he thinks that, I'm gonna slap him. He thinks he's dumb. He needs, to, <laughs> he needs to know his place in life, dude. I do get the sense that whenever Matt, whenever uh, West Balls goes to a tournament, he really believes that he can win. No, he's not. Maybe in four years. Actually, okay, yeah, he always says, like, I'm going to get top two. If there's... I, no, I think I think Wes has the mango respect, like, uh... Because he's lost to me so many times, it's like with Zoo. It's just, like, the same It's just like, alright, I can't beat Mango, not for a while. Right, okay. Well, I hope he does. If not, then uh, I don't know what I have to do. I guess i got to beat him at 20 more tournaments. Then he'll know. <laughs> Teach that kid a lesson. 
All right. Well, I don't know if there's a stream upcoming for West Falls tournament, but it's uh, this weekend in uh, in SoCal. And then there's a sweet tournament called the Deep Three this weekend in NorCal. Yes. Depthening I, intensifies. <laughs> depthening intensifies, which I may or may not go to. It depends on uh, if Sophie's busy or not. And if I do, I'm going to stream in high quality. Awesome. How we would love that? you. We would love to have you uh, come do that. Yeah, man. It's going to be. Uh, it's at UCSC on campus. So I'm predicting a pretty good uh, noob contingent. Oh no way! That, have, that should be fun. There? Yeah, there's gonna be some noobs. Amazing. Um, it's always good. And uh, Zach and I are going to uh, reprise our just totally dominant team from <laughs> the last tournament. Just it was just destruction. Nobody could touch us at Tove's house the next week. It's done. <laughs> Did you, you guys win? Money. Yeah. Who who was the top? Who was what was the grand finals? It was us versus uh, Mitchell and Jeff. Wow, and they couldn't touch you. Well, actually, we lost to them in <laughs> uh, we lost to them in winners finals, and then we six out them. Amazing. Sick with it. Amazing. All right, so yeah, two. I don't get to win money for that often, so just let me Doesn't have. Doesn't it feel great? <laughs> Dude, it feels so good. Smash Money is like so amazing. I love Smash Money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. For sure. And then uh Northwest Majors I think is pretty soon, yeah? Yeah. Uh it's in June, isn't it? It's coming up. Yeah, I think that it's either right after Zenith or right before it. But anyway, yeah, news of Zenith, uh uh, Mango Northwest and Majors I are... is June seventh and seventh through the ninth. Damn! So it's the weekend after. This is actually an out of control tournament schedule. Wait, uh, Mango, are you going to Northwest Majors? I mean, yeah, probably. God damn! K kids going everywhere, dude. Wait, so you're going to Canada for Tour Weekend too, right? <laughs> I'm going for Impulse. Impulse. Oh my god! Too many tournaments. I'm going I Zenith, know, Impulse, uh, Northwest Majors. Hey, and so then Evo. Does Smashboards have a list of these tournaments and like the stream that they're going to be posted on? I they guess they, they do kind of with like this, right? Mm. With this thing. Mm hmm. Be nice to have a calendar view. Yeah? <laughs> it would indeed. There might be one. Man, I don't know. I'm thinking about going to that Northwest tournament, but. Uh, Ano Monaguchi is playing in San Francisco that weekend, Ooh. and I would really love to see them. They're your favorite? Not my favorite, but just something that I've wanted to see for a while. Something that uh, it will be a new experience for me. Tom and Monaguchi. Ano Monaguchi. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like Ano Monaguchi, but with Gucci at the end? Nah, never mind. Never mind, Scar. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> next topic. Next, uh, next item on the agenda. Are we still talking tournaments? Yeah, give them to me. Are there more? Oh, well, um, I've got one that uh, it's still under construction. I want to give a shout out to uh, my partner in crime, uh, D1, the other half of a tribe called Rest. And uh, we are actually working on an event in the New York City region called the Back Air Theory. Um, we don't oh, have what? a date set yet. The Back Air Theory. If you're a Tribe Called Quest fan, you'll get it. But um, basically, it's a 48-man invitational. Uh, um, we'll be offering out these spots to 40 players up and down the East Coast. The last eight spots, roughly, will be... Uh, there'll, be uh, there'll be an amateur tournament going on in the background. Top eight gets into the event. Um... While that's going on, since you know everyone's going to be invested, why not have some money matches, some exhibition matches, things of that nature, going on in the uh, background, right? We might have it in a bar. We might have it in a. We might do it curly mustache style. We're not quite sure yet, but uh, we're trying to do something a bit different. Um, a lot of people on the East Coast are aware of it. Um, when more information is out, believe me, both D1 and I will blow up Twitter, we'll blow up Facebook, we'll blow up Smashboards. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So that's going to be like at a venue, it's going to be like a tournament, two days, something like that? 
Uh, it's actually just going to be a one-day event, if I, I think so. Those are yeah. actually sick. Those are so hype. Yeah. Except like, if anyone, if anyone is a fan of Marvel and has seen, you know, Yipes Do Curly Mustache, which is held actually the same venue as Sudden Death in Next Level Arcade in Brooklyn, which, hey, we're doing something very, very similar to that. So, um... Definitely stay tuned. It's just a matter of finding the menu and stuff. We might just do it there and then have everyone go to a bar afterwards, which would just be insane. But we'll figure it out. Sick. Sick Keep posted. All right. Well, this actually segues into uh, really well into my idea because back air theory sounds dope. All right. So a little bit of background. Sheridan and I went at it a little bit last night on Facebook about this idea that I have for a NorCal tournament, and it's just, you know, something that I think would be cool in addition to existing tournaments, so it's not like, you know, this will take over tournaments or anything like that, but... So I was watching StarCraft, as I often do, and I think that, like, GSL kind of setup is so hype, because... I don't know, I just found... I don't know, you should explain what GSL is, because I don't know what it is, so... Yeah, GSL is just, like, their premier tournament. It takes place in Korea. All of the, like, top StarCraft... StarCraft 2 players in the world are a part of this tournament. You have to earn your way into it. Um, but, yeah, it's like a, a tournament that they do, and they do it by leagues. So maybe every... I would say one and a half months, there's like a whole tournament. They start off with 64 players. They weed down to a round of 32. Maybe they start with 32. And then they go to a round of 16, round of 8. So half of the players get eliminated um, every... like every time they show something. So anyway, and then it basically leads up to a grand finals. Okay, whatever. So that's not too much information, but yeah, if you guys know about uh, GOM TV and GSL, that's that was what inspired the idea. They just basically want to rip their format. So NorCal has a top 15 power rankings. So if we get the top 16 players, which is 15 plus 1, we can determine the 16th in any fun way that we want, then I think it would be cool to take those players and create basically bracket pools uh, of four. For, you know, so there's four different bracket pools, and then I would do my best to like get them all together on a Wednesday night, and we would stream this mini bracket pool. And essentially, it's like it's gonna be what up to you got two sides, one two, and then the winners match and losers match. That's four, and then so up to six sets. I think it maybe it's always six sets. So what? I think it's six sets for a bracket pool of four people. Six or seven. Yeah. Six or seven. Oh, there's no, uh, no determinant, no, uh, oh, losers, no, no grand finals. So if you win the winner's match, you're, you get first. So just like FGC. Okay, then, so one person's going to end up in winner's finals, one person's going to end up in loser's finals? No, because you have the two people, right? I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, but you're not playing out winner's, you're not, okay. Not I, playing I out grand finals. Got it, okay. So I think six sets. So anyway, all right, we're going to get four people in a room, and we'll stream on like a Wednesday night, and we'll, we'll know in advance. It's like Wednesday night, we're going to have this group of SFAT, me, you know. It'll be five sets. But Tove, yeah. and whoever, Daryl. And we're in the set tonight. So if you want to watch any of us, then you can tune in at that time, and we're going to stream it. So then the next, you know, the next day, we'll do um, – another group and another group and another group and then that'll funnel into basically just like uh, the idea is that it's it's gonna be an ongoing tournament throughout like a, a month and a half and they'll most games will be played during the weekday and it'll be streamed it'll just be another thing for like us to watch and have fun with and I think it would be dope I think everybody should pay ten dollars into it and in the meantime there's probably gonna be three NorCal tournaments and we'll take a little bit out of those pots maybe ten percent and put it into that larger pot Everybody will play for a piece of the pie. First and second will get the most. The fourth place tie people will get some amount. And probably the eighth place people will get some amount. Probably money back. I don't know. Maybe just five bucks. Stick with it. Prague, would you want to watch that? Mango, you would watch it. I mean, only because I have nothing else to do. That's so sick. See, the I mean, Crimson's bringing up exactly the point. Like, well, it's not. It probably won't be that hard, especially after you have the groups of four, because then it's only going to be two one v ones, and those will be, those will be like, you know, people will be able to prepare for the matchups, and uh, 
I had some idea where like when we get to the round of four, you get to pick the stage list in advance. So then, you know, it will be super, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be something that we can prepare for and like think about and talk about. And Bobak brought up, we could bet on it. There's certain people who love betting. Love betting. Mango, who would you bet on? To win the thing? Yeah. Zach, dude, let's go. Let's go, Game Center Zach. Go, Zach. GC Zach, mm. dude. Gonna Kevin's going to win. Back. All right. And we can talk about it every week. So let's look at the standings in the uh, NCR, you know, league or whatever. Yeah, I... I think I, it's just a I, Brock, I'm, what? I'm, I'm really not sold on this at all. Proc just said he thought it was a phenomenal idea. You disagree with Proc? Well, give it the number, yeah, share. Well, give it a rating. Well, no, I don't well, want his rating. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> I think it's a phenomenal idea just because one thing that I feel like the community in general is lacking is exposure. I mean, mm -hmm. when you think of when you see a Smash stream, you know, you'll see us every Saturday, a couple different streams. Um, you'll see maybe the occasional Smash Fest during the week, but nothing like really set in stone. Um, nothing that will have people tuning in week after week after week. Um, so I think for that standpoint, you know, seeing some of this upper echelon play during the week is great. Um, but in terms of how the event is run, um, I... <laughs> If I post like the full, like a bracket, so that you can actually understand what I'm talking about, I bet you would like it. Mm. No, you don't think so. No matter what I did, you wouldn't like it. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right. Well, if anybody's got a better idea, tell me. Okay. So let me reiterate all the stuff that I told you last night about it. Yeah. Because basically, you know, what I I saw this post and I was like this just sounds like a fun thing to do by yourself but I don't see what the point of it is like you didn't there's no mission statement to it like why are we doing this besides fun there's a lot of different ways we can have fun why don't we just have a tournament uh, and you know like I don't feel like there's I mean I, I I'm totally down with what Prague said about we need to have something you know that people can look forward to week after week, right? But I don't feel like this tournament, for this format, really gives you a sense of cohesion from one week to another, especially because each week is, like, a really small thing that's happening. You know, right. it's not like an all-day It's not like an all -day thing like a tournament. It's going to be, like, you know, an hour, and then that's it. And, you know, I think that people won't feel... If if people are just showing up and probably playing, you know, one or two sets or two sets and then going home, you know, the 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 competitors aren't going to feel that sense of cohesion, the sense of, you know, this thing matters and something to look forward to each week. That's, a, that's an interesting perspective. I I dig what you're saying. Um so here the vision that I have is like, okay, we would invite the four people I would want to cast because I, I like doing it, but if anybody else wants to, they can also come. <coughs> and then, so we'll run through it. And I think that one of the best parts of it is that it would be like an hour or two hours. Because, I mean, who on a Wednesday wants to sit and watch a stream all day or is able to do that? I feel like it's it's much more, well, you know... What's that problem? I got to disagree there, Scar. I mean, Wednesday night, right now, we are up to head-to-head -to -head with Next Level Battle Circuit. Which no, Team Spooky what, runs. Oh. Right, but our show is like two hours, and it happens after the workday. Right, and so and same thing with their events. Yeah, so we would do a two-hour thing after the workday. It would basically be the same time slot. Okay. Yeah, so it's sick nasty. I think that, that part of it's sick nasty. So, you know, if it's more like, uh, you know, we're starting it, it especially if it's an all-day thing, if you're starting at like 11 and you end at 6, who can do that on a random Wednesday? I don't know. I guess a lot of the people in school can, but... I know I can't. Mango probably could. Definitely could. Yeah, definitely could. <laughs> um, so anyway, and then, yeah, after that, we'll just, uh, we could have like a Smash Fest. So it would basically be like, you know, we prepare for those matches, we play out that tournament, and then we could just chill afterwards. You know, I'd like to do interviews or whatever. And, you know, I think the best part would be if, not the best part, but it would be an added bonus if additional people came to watch. 
I I mean, see, there's some ideas that I like. We don't need but to take the whole thing wholesale. We can work, right, we can work yeah, on it and get it yeah. better. I mean... Mango, you're being too quiet, dude. I want to hear what you have to say about it, too. About what? I don't care. I'm not invited. Mango just oh shows God. up to tournaments and beats whoever he needs to beat. And that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the extent of what he needs to care about. From, I'm not invited. My perspective. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. <laughs> you care to know, dude. I don't think that that's true. What do I care? I think you care. About what? About watch NorCal noobs play each other? I don't care. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why am I going to watch people um, infinitely better than play? Doesn't matter, dude. Wow. Get your idea out of here. Me and, me and Sheridan don't like it next. <laughs> next! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, Scar. Continue. No, it's fine, dude. Keep going. No, I, think I, I think you got a lot of valuable things to say. <laughs> No, I think it's an, a pretty cool idea. I just don't. It, it, uh, if you can pull it off, I mean, it'd be sick. But uh, I'm not invited, so I don't really care. What if you were invited? Then yeah, it'd be it'd be amazing. What if uh, what if, what if you do a SoCal one? Well, SoCal sucks. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, and then I'm gonna destroy Westfold. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Johnny will win. First Westfold. I think balls. they could do one without me. Maybe that'd be pretty okay. Or maybe Joey will come out of retirement and beat everybody. Joey will come. Just wait for it. <laughs> Dude, how sick would that be if he if he joined this uh, this thing? They're pretty cool. Yeah, get people out of I retirement. I think if you mix, if you could somehow do a SoCal NorCal, both PRs in one bracket, that'd be amazing. Because you would have a bunch of like SoCal versus NorCal. Mm. Like every I, night, you would have at least two SoCal. Like you know, it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I think that. Uh, Dunk should hold that Fresno tournament, and we should meet halfway and do that. Let's see you in the middle. No, and then Fresno's gonna think they're cool. I know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we can't let them think they're cool. Please don't let Fresno think. All right. Well, All right, anyway, I think I might try it anyway. Do San Luis Obispo. Yeah, let's do slow. Uh, what did I call this? Like NorCal League. Well, NorCal anyway, League. so you know. I think you got to start out with what you're trying to accomplish, and then work your ID into that. I want to accomplish having a two-hour, uh, a two-hour-ish, high-quality streamed event with at least mid to high-level players. And I want to do it like maybe at the beginning we could do it twice a week, and then as we get closer to like you know the higher stakes matches, we do like one a week. Best of threes, best of best of fives later on. And like have some something cool about it. So GSL actually does this cool thing where like, all right, let's. I wish that I could just look at the PR, but all right, let's say that we knock out the bottom eight because like the round the round of 16 went. I think the coolest part is like the next part. So whoever got first in the bracket pools, we get all them together, and uh, we do like a random lottery. And whoever wins the lottery, let's say PPU wins, he gets to pick who he plays in the next round. And I think that could make for like a fun little thing. I don't know what I. Don't I didn't understand any of that. All right, it so let's just say sounds really, no, no, forget it. This, this sounds dumb from what I understood, so I'm vetoing it outright. All right, well, I'm wow. going to do it, and you're going to terrible it, too. Gonna be like, wow, wow. I, like, what do you need these lottery gimmicks for? Just have yeah. it was fun. You know what's more <laughs> fun is having like a tournament that actually means something. Instead of oh this guy won a random drawing so he's in the bracket here no do you let no have you a, don't win and get in have the bracket a legit tournament you pick your opponent Sick. what is who I and mean then that drives <laughs> like that drives like uh, a a storyline why don't you just like actually have people that want a money match money match small score you just like throwing people do, together in a blender anyway. hoping something happens out of it no. Whatever, man. I'm just gonna take you off the PR and not. Uh, you won't be involved. You get to watch from the sidelines. Take me off the PR. <laughs> I don't think the, you're the owner have of the PR. Authority. Dude, <laughs> by the way, speaking of the NorCal PR, how do you feel about being on it for ten plus years and now all of a sudden, if you move away, you're not gonna be on it? Uh, no, I'll be on it. That? You just stay on it. Yeah. Even if you move away, I actually think that you will. <laughs> I don't think that anybody's gonna have the heart to take you off. Or call you inactive. <laughs> I would never do it. I'd leave you there for the rest of time. <laughs> You're the best. Um, Fine. You don't have to like my idea. Whatever. Ooh, uh, um, no, I just didn't like that one. Just that. You don't like the lottery. Lottery thing. No, it's 
no good. But, I mean, I, I think there's some, I don't know, there's some merit to some idea in there somewhere. Well, I got, a so minute. I got some merit for some idea somewhere. That's pretty good. Yeah. Or what, scar. What's up, uh, scar. Frog? How about that whole Evo thing? Dude, Evo, man, that's actually pretty crazy what, uh, what I heard this past week. What, yeah, what I mean, frog? what did you tell me? We already have at least 400 people registered. <gasps> 400 people? 400 people. That's a pretty sick number. You feel pretty good about that, Sheridan? Dude, what, what are your expectations? Sick. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> 400 is pretty much what I was expecting for the, like, final number. So, I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, I mean, it's already the largest melee tournament in history. Assuming they um, all show up, yeah. Yeah. And then... You have to pay like $80 about, um, to get a ticket, right? So, hopefully they do show up. You yeah. Smashers, you never know, man. You never know. Do you know uh, Swift, the Google Doc link is that way. Agenda at the top. Tiny URL up here. See where my mouse is? What's up? Maybe it on me. You have another... Uh, a little over what a a little over a month, under a month, or two months to uh yeah to until registration ends. By eight weeks, yeah. And then uh, throw in you know we're doing two days of pools. Has um, the they have this schedule released yet? No, but uh, he already said that they're going to be doing two days of pools. So uh, also, what else? What else? Uh, Register now if you haven't, because if you don't, uh, they're running out of room in the main room. So basically, think of it as like you're going to a club and uh, you end up right next to the VIP section but can't get in. It's basically that kind of deal. They'll just sit out there and watch while everyone else enjoys bottle service. So go ahead and register ASAP. Uh, if you can bring TVs and setups and stuff, there is a thread on Smashboard, set up by Klaus uh, taking note of who can bring stuff, because Mr. Wizard does want about 16 setups for the tournament itself. However, uh, of course you want more for casuals and uh, warm-ups, things of that nature. So. Sounds pretty good. Do, do, we, know, do we know, like, what kind of time we're going to get on the streams versus the stage and all that stuff? No idea. Um, all I know at this point, all that's set in stone is there are two days of pools. Uh, again, remember these are bracket pools, so just two yeah. people make it out. Yep. Um, what else? What else? Um, there's that. So we don't, even with that, we're not sure if we're Saturday night or Sunday finals, but more than likely it is Sunday finals. Mm -hmm. um, we do know we do have the one thousand dollar pop bonus. Thanks to My Little Pony for that. And um, video game boot camp will be streaming the uh, uh, unofficial stream that weekend for all of your melee fun and uh, excitement. Ballin, ballin. Uh, I don't think that this is gonna work. By the way, I'm trying to trying to get a sync tube alternative up so that we can actually uh, watch something together, the four of us. But I don't think it's possible. What are we gonna do, dude? What are you trying to do? What's going on? I'm trying to. I want all of us to watch something together. Uh, maybe you guys could watch it on the uh, actually on the stream. Yeah, there's a thing called sync tube. It closed. No shit. It closed like two months ago. Mm. I wanted to do. Uh, I forget what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something. That's a bummer, man. No, it's super sad. Yeah, sync tube's down, everybody. Oh well. Uh, there's apparently something at 6irc.net, sync tube.6irc. But uh, I don't know. I can't seem to uh, get it to work. I guess I have to like create some stuff. Uh, 
Alright, so now I'm registered. What now? Too much effort. I know! This is like <laughs> actually a ton of effort. Media Buddy. URL. Ooh, hey Scar. Yeah. You know how we have uh, breaking news on occasion? Yeah. Breaking news. This one goes out to all the video uploaders and streamers out there. Apparently, Nintendo is mass claiming gameplay videos on YouTube. No. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Appears that way. Fresh off the presses? Fresh uh, off the presses. Like, everything or just like we, maybe like latest generation games? Like, are they going after NES? SNES? I have no idea. I just kind of linked to it from uh, Solid Jake. I'll post it in the chat. If I can't watch wow, Mango vs. Armada 2.4 with my son in 15 years, I'm going to be so <laughs> upset. So upset. Oh my god. What are we gonna Time do? Time to bring back the hub. Bring back the, the hub. hub bring back the hub. We gotta do something. I can't believe you can't pause on this. Revival side. of the hub. Yeah, they are doing it for Ad Revenue, apparently. Mm. Dude, if all the Smash videos get erased, it's like it never happened. It's like our history is being erased. That would be the, that would Dude, you know what? I actually have like a shit ton of like super old Smash videos on my hard drive. Like 2005, 2006 hub status videos that are like, you know, completely worthless except for the history value. History, man. Yeah. yeah. Melee history. Oh, dude, those Fumi vids. I still have those old Fumi vids. <laughs> but then again, uh, it from what I just read in like 0.2 seconds, Sheridan, you probably read significantly faster than me, but, well, probably everybody can, but it looks like they just want the money, right? So there's going to be ads. Well, that's what a bunch of people in chat are saying, but, you know, yeah, I hope that's the case. Either way, we gotta save him, dude. I think yeah, that... definitely need to save him. I think every important match to each of the individuals, should, we should just save. So then if yeah. there's something that nobody saves, then it means nobody cared. Mm-hmm. Damn. I think that's the plan. Archive. So, so everybody, start archiving your videos. I'm gonna go right to, uh, Miiverse Lamp Chops. See if I get this knife. Yeah. Pretty Hold big it. win in my career, yeah. I think. Unfortunately, JB recorded it so horribly. Of uh, uh, what match? Beaver's lamp trap to Genesis. Oh. He got Actually, now that. I heard the spanking noise. Someone got spanked. Yeah. Um. Who did I say got lamb chops by me at Genesis One? Now this is happening. I wonder how it'll affect. The or if it will have an effect on uh, melee being streamed at, e at Evo. Hmm. We'll see, man. Can go either way, man. Can go either. It can go either way. All right. Well, and then I don't know how to. Uh, yeah, I lost to somebody in pools at Genesis. I forget who it was. Some Canadian Marth. It was not IB. You're for real? No. Damn, it's like that. <laughs> it's like that. Dude, I've never lost you. Where is he? He's probably on there. It wasn't Diakonos. He's pretty good. I don't think he would ever beat me. <laughs> I remember at Event 52, um, I teamed with like a Philly random named Gotham. Probably you obviously know. <laughs> um, and I was... Dude, I spanked IB at Apex. 2-0, quick. What's up, IB? You're pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then they, like, took us to Brinstar, because that's what the Canadians like to do. And I remember, like, got him died so quick. And I spanked them two-on-one. Rainex is actually the worst player in the world versus Falcon. Rainex, I love you, but you're, you are so bad. Anybody else agree with that? Um, sure. Moving on. <laughs> Alright, let's watch some YouTube and videos. And Sherry's beating the car today, man. <laughs> not a, he's not a fan today. I know. Dude, I'm getting like a 2 on every idea. I'm, I'm combative. I'm feeling very combative today. You're allowed to. You're not even going to board game night. This is like our mini board game. Yeah. So does anybody have a... What what video should we watch? I want to watch uh, a Mango M2K video. Nice. Which is a good one, Mango? From what? The, the tourney? Any good... Any Mango M2K vid. How about Genesis 2? 
singles winners quarters. Uh, I remember those being really good. That's a pretty good set, to be honest. We both right. played pretty, pretty good. And I just junk him, and I do the read no, of the sentry on him in the, in the first game. Alright, I'm gonna have to try to find uh, how to do a hangout. Oh my god, the read, where I just stand there and I wait for him to roll, oh my god. It's amazing. Where's the hangout button, please? Give me a hangout. Come on. Share. Google Plus. Hangout. Alright, let me see if I can find out, get a link so that you guys can get in this. Shout out to Google. So he's gonna work here. So. Watching the Chicago That, that was something. That was that was the spirit that bomb was a phenomenon. Yeah, that was that. I, well, I was actually cracking up because it was extremely funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sheridan, you you sounded so scary. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> all right, the overlay is all messed up because Cactuar's here. It sounded like everybody was in a like. They were in a car that was just really bumpy the whole time, and also <laughs> slow and robot-y. Yeah. Yes. That was a pretty good explanation. Alright, now I need to bring Prog mm. above. Wait, what? What's up? Sheridan, you're invading Prog's... Oh. There he is. Never mind. We're all good. <laughs> Dude, Prog the eyes! Alright. Well, anyway, <laughs> we're back. I don't think that we could... Uh, I... I... You want to try to watch some videos just on on the stream? I know we've tried to do that in the past and it kind of sucked. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Dude, let's watch this for a minute. Just just turn the stream on. Mango, I'm seeing the, the stream. Up? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna watch you versus MTK. I just want to see the read of the year. Watch this. All right, so basically we're we're I'm just gonna press play and if anybody notices anything awesome, just say stop and we'll talk about it. So this is basically Stop. this is <laughs> all right. What's up, Frog? It's He's awesome. just testing. <laughs> testing, testing. All right, go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why are you so dead, Jason? Stop. So. Did you all just right, want to test um, how delayed it is? No, uh, I actually saw something. It was pretty early. I'm guessing it was like 7:57 or maybe 7:58. Uh huh. Um, wow, that far back. Yeah, it was like pretty immediate. I think. Uh, yeah. Mango and MTK left the side of the screen. Mango changes the shield pressure because runs in front of MTK. Shines for no damn reason. It works. What do you mean? There was tons of reason. There, right there. Most people wouldn't have done that. I appreciate it. I don't know what we're talking about because of the, yeah, yeah. the time Doesn't is way wait. off for everything. When you oh. said there, right there, we were like 20 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's, a bad, that's a bad idea. 
Oh, right. this might be. This oh, might the be read! Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, the read. What was the read? What was the timestamp? Let's go back. It's the beginning of the stock. I just run towards them, jump, and then. Oh, my God. Right here, watch. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I see. Look at that read. I punked him into rolling so hard. You're 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 a clever guy. Yeah, I took his lunch money, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pause it when it happens. Oh, oh my God. Was that so it? Did I pause it at the right spot? Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, it's amazing. Pretty good. <laughs> hey, why is he at such a bad spot? I'm gonna rewind a lot to like when you first got him on the edge and you're standing up on this platform. Why is he in such a bad spot? Dude, Falco's like amazing off the platform. Most of the characters are really amazing off the platform if you use it right. Why? Why in particular? I can never hit people. Like, they just get back up and I don't do anything. Suck, no one should ever get back. If you have that position right there, you can cover yeah. everything. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. <clears throat> That's hard. No, it's hard to get up. Yeah, oh. if you hold the, the platform right, it's so hard for them to do anything. Alright, well, I don't jump. know if anybody has the same similar experience, but it's hard for me to get up, and it feels like it's easy for other people to get up against me. So it sucks. I, I'm just bad at it. Hold all positions right there from the platform. Oh. <laughs> I that now. He dies. Yeah. This is the set where he gets junked, and then he goes Sheik, and then it's kind of close, and then he goes Marth, and it's kind of close, but you win. No, no, he did, uh, he had junked this game, and then he goes Sheik the rest of the set, and it's a pretty good set. It goes... yeah. I remember that was like the last time I ever cheered for him against you. <laughs> nice. If I did, I had to cheer for him. I cheered for him super quiet though, but him versus Dewan, <laughs> dude, I cheered for him so loud. <laughs> the Kobuji King! Everybody in NorCal hated me. <laughs> oh, he's getting punked, dude. Yep. He reset? Of course he did. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that. Holy crap. Of course he did. He's getting junked. You junked so bad that he reset? Yeah. No. <laughs> Do you know what I really like about that reset? That uh, he had he had so long to reset, like he got hit by the back air, and he flies across the whole screen and just tumbles all the way down. That means he thought about it the whole time. He's like, should I rage quit? He's like, I think I'm gonna rage quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah I know. like he wasn't sure if he was gonna lose the stock. <laughs> Speaking of rage quit, I am out for the evening. Oh yeah, you're gonna take care, gents. All right, yeah. Prague. Do you want to have say a good any, day tomorrow? Any last words. Um, don't watch the Exorcist and come on melee out on me. Yeah, <coughs> sounds really scary. Good to know. Thanks, bud. All right, later, gang. Later, homie. Thanks, dude. Now that overlay is gonna be all messed up, so I'm just gonna switch to the old melee it on me setup. You guys must know this. Super well. Wow, now we're back oh. to being virgins. <laughs> the virgins, the virgin setup. This is a good old Skype screen, man. We're doing big things, and now we're back to this. We could do it like. I don't know. We could do it. That's whatever, dude. Whatever. We lost Prague. It's just me, you, and Sheridan now. We're just falling apart. I got a pretty good idea. Hang on a sec. Let, let oh. the kid do his, do his magic, work his magic. What? Messing everything up. No, the magic's not working. This show is just falling up. This has been one of the worst episodes of all time. I don't think it's the worst episode of all time. <laughs> everything is just going wrong. Everything is falling apart. Well, everything didn't go perfectly. It certainly wasn't a James Chen episode. Yeah, we've had some good ones, and then from this. How about that? I, I don't know. What about that overlay? Come on. But now I, it's just, uh, Actually, I should undo everything that I just did. That looks cool. Yeah, just control Z your life. I, dude, I wish that that worked. I would totally control Z right now. Horse part is unbanned from CS, so I don't even know what to do. There's nothing you can do, man. I don't know what you I'm gonna do. Watch you versus BGK. So what do you what do you think the biggest things are to focus on anyway while we watch this? What do you mean? Well. You know, not not being an expert on all the matchups. You know, I guess Mango, you have a pretty good idea of the different matchups. But what are the common themes that you would keep in mind? Well, like, I well, mean, I think. Sorry, go ahead. No, you go first. All right. Well, 
I mean, I just think, you know, we need to... This is ostensibly for, you know, a fighting game audience, yeah. right? So, two things. We need to highlight the things that they can relate to and the things that make our game unique compared to theirs, you know? Yeah. So, you... you we can talk. Uh, we we want to show a lot about shield pressure and like keeping momentum, and also about things like, you know, how combos change with percent and uh, with edge guarding. Um, and I think like the kind of matches that we want to show are. I, I really like ones where you can see why, you know. Mm -hmm why the pressure is the way it is like why can't he get out here why why couldn't he just do you know this other thing like you want to be able to see why he was trapped there and um or you know like why why a read was so good you know things like that that makes that makes total sense you know you, you it's you want to you want to understand the why the why is the more important thing mm -hmm. I heard that from somebody else recently. Well, I mean, that's that's kind of what builds your understanding of the game. Is why is this person doing this? So we actually have some matches, and uh, Revan was kind enough to put together actual timestamps for you know the moments that he thought was super interesting. Mm -hmm. So we should definitely take a look at that too. Um, cool. Maybe not not right this second, but uh, yeah. And I think it would actually probably be pretty cool to uh, put that on the boards. <gasps> Who wins this game? Oh, Mango does the roll from the ledge. How often do you see that? We should probably put, put those sets up on the uh, on Smash boards and have people be able to you know throw their opinion in um, mm -hmm. on like what they think is awesome. But anyway, at the risk of uh, the show falling apart because we had some technical errors and so on and so forth, why don't we do some call-ins and uh, we're gonna call it a night, I think. Yeah. If Sync Tube worked, I think it would have been a different episode, but Sync Tube's dead. Mm -hmm. As sad as that is. It's a, it was a hard episode for the Melee at All Me Kids. It was tough for the crew. <laughs> it was but, a tough, uh, tough week for the kids. We gotta bounce yeah. back next Oh, yeah. We yeah. Well, we gotta, without Sync Tube, it's We gotta actually... practice. We gotta have a practice <laughs> the day before. Practice. We gotta practice our stream. Yeah. Oh, I have candy boxes. Gotta though. practice that technology. God, you got a lot of. Dude, did, you, did you see all my lollipops? Are you kidding me? <laughs> lollipops out of I, lollipops. I already beat the game, but yeah. You beat the whole game? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean you beat the game? I... You beat the developer's computer? Yeah. No, wow. there's... You can do more than that. <gasps> are you serious? There's even more to the game than that? Yeah. What a game! You guys are both. Yeah, I beat the developer's computer. Dude, Mango threw 50 candy on the ground and threw it out. Stop playing. <laughs> I just took all my candy on the floor. No, I and then I Dude, I could totally see that. This is oh, that's, yeah, not, that's not a mango game at all. Nah, I need. I, I only like games where you can rape someone. That's, that's, <laughs> that's getting raped. Not for me. Not I should. I should have known, dude. I shouldn't even have linked it to you. Oh, dev. Yeah. What were you thinking, Bobby? Come on. I don't know, man. I, I got bored in like chance. Eight seconds. I threw my candy and just bounced. <laughs> That's Focus. just perfect. It's pretty funny. I love it. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Trail a chance. See if he wants to say anything. He probably just wants to talk smack on it on somebody and then bounce. Yeah. We'll see. Trail, I'm calling you if you're if you're watching. Hello. What's up, Trail? What's going on? Not too much, dude. What's going on with you? Not shit. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you just seemed desperate to get on earlier. Did you just want to hang out? Ah, that's whatever. What's going on? You guys off? You guys still <laughs> streaming or what? Dude, we tried to watch uh, some videos in like a shared kind of way, but it's it turns out it's really difficult to do that on the internet nowadays. Ever since uh, March 2013, it became much harder. What do you know about that? For uh, Starcraft or what? Drill, get rid of drill. Exit. Drill, you have like ten <laughs> seconds to redeem out. yourself. Or Please. You're kicked out. <laughs> hey, please, end call. End call. Hey. End call. Alright, uh, you guys woke me up. Okay, I'm, I'm up. I'm up. What's up? Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was phone ringing. This is so bad. 
This is the worst episode of all time. I'm calling it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get a big call back next week. That sounds yeah. good. Trail, I'm going to kick you off. Um, but I still owe you a set. On, I owe you a commentated me versus... You're talking with food in your mouth. This is the worst I episode know, of all time. He's been eating for like three quarters of this episode. I mean... Not really. What, I've been really what good a, about it. Must I do? Episode, dude? This episode is... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Delete this from the archive. Hang please. on, we got some we got some people we want to call in. Oh god. <laughs> you have Pocky D calling you out, bro. What did he say? He texted me. <laughs> Show some professionalism. And I agree. Yeah. Pull it together. We don't even have the overlay up, dude. Better than this, Bobby. I know you're better than uh, this. Ah, this is the worst thing. We don't even have the overlay up. <laughs> You don't have the overlay up. The face with the with the John Madden. <laughs> I love it. Bad. Yeah, how are you being less professional than me, dude? Come on. <laughs> Trail left you a message that I'm not going to repeat on air. Well, I mean, you know, Bobby. Bobby has a lot of responsibility. It's you know, I know it's tough. Dude, so there's apparently uh, there are other I don't want to call them shows, but whatever, where they have other people control. You know, um, like the production, so they'll they'll control all of the UI and like the interface. Yeah. They'll do transitions for you. They'll even manage the Skype and get people to call in. Dude, that would be so much easier. Mm -hmm. It's tough, man. All right, nobody wants to call in, so we're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. Everyone, erase this episode from your mind. Please. Well, we could just take the first like half of it, because um, the first half was I, I had a good time. It and went then as soon as soon as I, I, I mean, tried to open but <laughs> this, I will not look back on this as a life accomplishment. Yeah, probably. Pretty bad. Last week was so much better, and then this one just sucked. It was two weeks ago, thank you. And now, we'll look at it. I don't even know what info, our info is all wrong. Everything's just bad. We have to go. Say your buys. Come on, let's go. Sharon, you have anything to say? Um, good try. What, what do you have to say about this paper? Are you going to get it done? I'm not writing a paper. Well, I mean, not tonight. You're presenting a paper, aren't you? I, I mean, I I just have to say what we've been doing. I have to make sure everybody's caught up with all this stuff. So, and it's hard for me to get up in the morning. So I need to make sure that, you know, I get it all done tonight. You got this. Mango, what are you going to do for the rest of the night, dude? You don't even have a Counter-Strike. Um, I'm going to ask Oscar if I can borrow his other account. Oscar has two accounts, that's pretty amazing. Oscar has like eight accounts in every game. <laughs> why does, do, does anybody know why he does that? Lovage, can you comment on this? Why do you do that? I actually, shout out, shout out to Lovage, I always wear the Lovage tag now. O-S-C-R. I think I'm going to do that for the rest of my life until he plays again. <laughs> Alright. Somebody else asked about the gym battles. Mango, did you hear about the gym battle idea? Gym leader? No. You're gonna do like a Pokemon thing, and then everybody got excited about it for two seconds, and then we threw it away. Sheridan, do you remember that? Yeah, and I figured that that was gonna happen. I well, you know what? I feel I'm like pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if you look in the archives, I predicted it. <laughs> I would imagine that like you would immediately say like, no, no, that's a bad idea. You would give that like a one or a two. No, I I don't think it's bad. I just think it's not gonna happen, and. You know, I actually, you know, I remember, I think you eventually convinced me that it would be fun, but I, I mean, you know, I think... Fun is not enough status, anymore. Yes, fun is not enough. That's, that should be my, uh, that can be one of my mottos, you know. Fun's fun is, not, not, fun is not enough. <laughs> well, uh, I do remember, yeah, we were, we got so hyped about it for two seconds, and then I started a thread... <clears throat> and then I didn't even really like look at it very much afterwards. I actually need to get back into checking Smash boards. I don't know how ap active like most people are nowadays, but I, I don't know, man. It's just like I use Facebook. Scar, do you want to play FPS in a bit or what? Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna go play board games actually with with my buddies. Um, alright then. Cool. Not, yeah. not including me, unfortunately. So unfortunately. I wish I could be there. All right, so. But it. you'll have an easier time now that you're playing four player or whatever. Yeah, I guess that's true. But you know Gishnak. Who knows when he's going to show up? Yeah. 
So anyway, uh, guys, we're gonna do another one in two weeks, and it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have an yeah. intro video. We're probably gonna have a cactuar. Prague will probably stay the whole time. If not, uh, I was thinking maybe we get somebody else. Wait, in two weeks? Is that bef before? Oh, that's a great question. Is that before Zenith? Yeah, it is. I think it is, dude. We have to. It's the episode right before we leave. We get on the plane after the episode's over. Okay, cool. No shit. Really what time is your flight? Uh, Friday morning. Mangos is at eight thirty. <sighs> Uh, so that's not right after, but no, okay. Not. Yeah. But it's soon, shortly, shortly before. <laughs> Sharon is just right. on Star's case today. Oh well, my. Well, you know he's right. <laughs> he's this. I'll, man. Give, I've given it all to him. You've gotten it this episode, man. Um. <laughs> and as far as what we talked about with James Chen, uh, so I think the problem that we had today, <laughs> with regards to watching a video at the same time, is uh, going to be like a larger issue. So if I can't get, I, if I actually can't get down there. We might have to have another ambassador. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. What do you mean? Well, like, if I can't get down to SoCal, how are, how are we going to watch uh, anything on stream together? And, like, actually talk about melee matches. See Why do you need to be in SoCal? Well, because that's where he lives. Why? Well, Does none of this making sense to you? No. Do you remember how he said that we wanted to go on Ultra Chen TV? And talk oh, about okay, okay. I I didn't realize that's what you're talking yeah, about. Talking yeah, about. okay. Uh, yeah. So when were you trying to do that? Soon. Uh, yeah. I was thinking probably. Uh, I was thinking next Monday or the Monday after, but yeah, we need some way to watch videos together. Right. Sync tube. No. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that's that's in two weeks. Uh, I'm gonna update this. I'm actually gonna make a, a pretty uh, pretty concerted effort to actually update things. And I don't know if I can commit to actually being on Smash Boards, but I'll think about it. Right. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. Hey guys, for the next two weeks, I'm gonna be on Smash Boards. How about that? I've decided. I'm gonna start right now. If I had an outro video, I would play it, but I don't. But you don't. Of course you don't. I know. I could just, I could just put this. This is gonna be the outro video. This is actually a pretty sick set. Mango, you want to talk about the rest of the set? It's uh, I think we both played pretty good. It's uh, overall pretty. I give it a 8.4 out of 10. Set. Which, what's the highest? What's the highest number set that you would? Like just overall yeah, great. Yeah. What's sets? the best set? Well, I have I have like super high standards for set. So, give it so like I don't think I think tens are pretty rare. Eight means solid, and uh, that was amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's hard to find. I think only like two like amazing fabulous sets happen like every year. Mm -hmm. Is there any set off the top of your mind that you would give a ten to? Um, or even like a nine point five. I think the my me and Armada's set from Genesis 2, even though I lost, that's a overall I'd say pretty amazing set. I'd probably give that like a nine point something. Whoa! Because we just destroy each other. It's like nonstop. We just combo. Yeah. So I think overall it's pretty good. It and that's start. like I that's the kind of thing that I think we want to present to everybody else. I yeah. No, that's it. That, that's it's really that, good. Yeah, I wonder if that made the cut. I'm actually gonna post in the. In the stream chat, what the three episodes, the three uh, games are. Whoa! I can't believe you guys loaded there. And then uh, our set from Genesis One, I think, is actually pretty amazing, but it's only a few like floating matches. Yeah, it's, right. it's much different. Uh, like it's a whole different thing, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I can see people liking both. Yeah. Sure. I don't really. I'm trying to think of like really good sets I've had, but I've only had a few because either like I junk someone or they junk me. So it's like my sets are usually <laughs> pretty all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's life of mango. That is the life of mango, dude. <laughs> dude, what I'm sets? Just... What sets do you watch that are not of you? Uh, not many. What about when you were like coming up and getting better? I watch King videos, dude, all day. Watch King videos. <laughs> <laughs> all day. Um. No, I know I've seen some sets, and I've been like, oh, these are pretty good. I just don't can't remember them off my head. Because I actually do watch a lot of Smash videos. I actually, like, randomly, like, 4 a.m., I'll just start watching videos for, like, three hours. Does it make you want to play? 
Dude, I always get the itch whenever I watch it, like a six. Um, hit. I get more mad because everyone sucks. That makes me mad. <laughs> when I see something so dumb, it like, I get shared in like you know whatever you're studying and you just like, and you know you have so much knowledge on it. And I'm pretty sure when you hear like or see something that's just so wrong about it, it like kind of like, it just upsets you. And that's how I feel about Melee. <laughs> when it's just so bad, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> maybe. I've I've like exited out of videos after someone does one dumb stock. I'm just like I'm out of here. <laughs> I can't I can't fuck, I can't bear to watch this. What level are you talking about where you're gonna th turn things off? Any level. If I see anything just abysmal, like just like three bad decisions in a row, I'm like I'm out of here. <laughs> Mango's not watching your videos anymore because you suck. <laughs> that's that's, that's tough, how it goes. Tough life <laughs> when Mango's your critic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, is this the last game? No, yeah. Does this go to game five? Of course not. You get a lot of those crouch cancel get up attacks, like almost get up attacks. I do. I see him coming. Why does yeah. he keep get up attacks? Are you baiting it out or? Dude, because like everybody thinks get up attacks. I mean, they're they're always. <laughs> they just feel invincible, man. I know. <laughs> dude. And then after you do it and it's bad, it feels so terrible. Yeah, I try not to get up attack because when I get punished for it, I feel like a scrub. I feel like such a noob when I get punished. Yeah. But most of the time you don't, because it's the best move in the game. <laughs> According to Phil, right? I, I always hear Phil talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> he loves Get Up Attack. <laughs> he does love it. Dude, shout out to Phil. I hope that he can come to a tournament eventually in the history of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, he goes now, doesn't he? It's just me not going. <gasps> what happened? He sucks, Scar. I guess Sheridan doesn't know, because he wasn't in the tournament last weekend either. Dude, Sheridan, were you at the up. tournament where Zach got like 90th? It's 90th. And we got the hybrid like one. Oh yes, I was at. Me and Zach won teams. Dude, can you tell me what happened? Why the results are the way they are? No, I didn't watch it. I was. Zach, uh, oh my god. Yeah. Zach played Fox, dude. Sometimes you play Fox and it all goes downhill. <laughs> it doesn't work out. Oh. Wait, what I'm do you mean you didn't, you like left before singles? You just did team. Uh no, I was there. I just I don't, I think I was. Dude, TO I don't remember. Stuff? I didn't watch it. Dude, chaired and stuff? No, uh, Tavikins was TO. Okay. That was the worst I'd be in my life. Jesus Christ. <laughs> see, like, I even get mad at myself when I see something really bad. I'm like, why'd you do that? Why'd you yeah. set off, too? Let's just cleanse their home with you. You're better than that. He looks like he's in a tough spot. He's trying to make a Mewtwo King comeback, but this ain't, ain't shiz was. Yeah. Oh, me, I'll fight him on the ledge. Let's go, Jason. Let's go. <laughs> that's that. I think I'm done. I'm done fighting by the edge. It's dumb. Really? I'm back to old days where I fight by the edge and it's just like super smart. I don't know. I don't know if you could do it now. I'm like, the, the edge is like my drug. I just love being there because when I beat anyone on the edge, it's like, yeah, I destroyed you and you're like own little home turf. <laughs> Dude, good luck. We'll see at, uh, what's the next tournament you're at? Probably Zenith? Zenith. Alright, dude, we'll see. we'll see if you fight at the ledge or not. I mean, we all know I will, but. We all know you will. See how it goes. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Sorry that we had <laughs> Sorry we had technical difficulties, but I still had fun. Um, we'll be back in two weeks and uh, yeah, keep keep an eye out for uh, for the back air theory, which actually sounds super sick. Uh, West Balls tournament and a deep three coming up. Depthening intensifies. Depthening intensifies. Big tournaments like Zenith, Impulse, Toryukin, and Northwest Majors. That's actually a crazy lineup. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll see if we get a NorCal Smash League one going, whether Sheridan participates or not. Dude, I'm gonna work on that idea, and then next time we're on. All right. I wanted I want to get at least like a solid seven and a half for the idea. Remember, Bobby, fun is not enough. I got you. All right, fun's not enough. <laughs> and thanks again for tuning in. I'm gonna. I'm, we're done. <laughs> All right, guys. Bobby. Good try. I Thanks, see you guys. everybody. We'll, we'll bounce back Thanks, next time. Yeah, we next, got it next yeah. time. We'll bounce back, guys. Don't worry. Every time, you, there's a tough tournament. It happens. All right, yeah. bye.